Okay, hi everyone. So yeah, so I loved Martin's talk yesterday. Uh, I also loved um, I also loved doing cryptic cr uh, crosswords with my colleagues, but he mentioned that he doesn't know how to do cryptic crosswords, uh, which lots of people don't. Uh, they are kind of baffling if you've never seen them before. Um, so I'm going to try and decode them in five minutes, which is going to go great. Um, I don't think the clicker's working. Okay, it's fine. No, it's not fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, pardon? <laughs> hey, okay. That slide's irrelevant. Um, so, <laughs> with, with a normal crossword, uh, like a normal crossword, uh, you have a clue that you're looking for kind of a synonym of. Um, with a cryptic crossword, you've got something like this, which you're trying to turn into a clue. Um, so, something like... Um, Basically, what you're trying to do is something like this. So you've got the straight, like the straightforward clue, is what you would, in a normal crossword, would be just the clue. And then the rest of it, you're trying to find a construction to build the rest of it up. So hopefully with this, you can see, for Switzerland, we've got CH, Confederation and Helvetica. Um, then OR is just OR, and America is US, which turns chorus. <laughs> great. <laughs> so the great thing about crosswords is they make you feel really clever when you've got it. Just <laughs> Um, this is another cryptic clue, uh, so this is something which is just a joke that you might be familiar with. Um, so, <laughs> so here we've got the straight, which is big game, uh, and excellent for superb, and winger is owl. Two things here. Firstly, notice that you can break the words up differently from in the construction and in the answer, and also there's a little bit of misdirection here, because winger, in the context of a clue that looks like it's about sports, you might think it's a sports player. In fact, it's something completely different. Um, this is a slightly more complex clue, so feature of some wines, eight swallowed in bar. Um, what this is doing here, uh, so we have a slightly longer straight, feature of some wines is a screw top, like on a bottle. Um, this is a bit more complex construction, so swallowed in is telling you that you need a word for eight inside a word for bar. And so, takes a bit of general knowledge, so <laughs> bear with me. So, <laughs> so Eight, you need to know that a rowing crew is sometimes called, like, is called an eight. Uh, and bar, what bar is doing there, the word stop. So not bar is in the noun bar, but is in the verb, as in to stop someone doing something. So, and you bring that all together. <laughs> um, this is a really cute type of clue, which looks like it should be, like when you know how to look for them, you, you figure you should be able to see them all the time, and actually they're really hard to spot. It's called an included. So further is the straight. Inside means you're looking inside the words, and so further also. Um, <laughs> um, this is another type of clue called an, 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 an initialism. So, ah, and here are the straights at the end. So you're saying initially in these letters you get the word primate, which is ape. Sorry, ape, which is primate. Um, and those are all my clues. So how on earth do you guess these? Like, how do you find that kind of construction? Um, the answer is you're guessing, um, and this is why crosswords are better with friends because you kind of bounce ideas off each other, and you might say, okay, like if I, if there's a, if we think in this clue the straight is breakfast item, you go, okay, well scrambled eggs fits in the number of letters, and someone else will go, ah, yeah, and sheep, which is in a different part of the clue, could be ram, and then you end up kind of building it up together and you work it out together, and it's it's really nice as a collaborative activity. It's kind of boring on your own. Um, <laughs> So yeah, so if you want to try this out, uh, I thoroughly recommend it, it's great fun. Uh, I recommend both the, um, the Everyman crossword in the Observer, which is the Sunday Guardian, uh, is generally f like has quite straightforward clues and you can normally guess the straights pretty easily and that's the easiest way to get into it. Also, in the Guardian, uh, the crosswords get like, they start easy on Monday and then they get harder towards the end of the week. So if you start on a Monday, then that's a good time to go. Um, the other thing is there's a great blog called 15 Squared and what they do is basically what I've been doing in this talk. So for all of the crosswords, they solve them and they explain to you how they're constructed. So when you're trying to learn how to do crosswords, it's really, really helpful to see this breakdown. So that's a great resource as well. So I've really enjoyed cryptic crosswords. I thoroughly meant to recommend giving them a go. Enjoy. That was great. So I